Why federal government may not negotiate or release Namdekano stakeholders? Hmm. This is dangerous. So. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Despite the readiness of Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOC, to negotiate with the federal government of Nigeria, you know, has it has been invoked by the court. Stakeholders doubt that the federal government led by Bola Tinubu would be willing to consider that option. Barrister Emeka Iono, a Lagos lawyer who spoke to Sun Sunday Independent on the renewed call by Chief Clark said accepting Kanu's willingness for negotiation would have been a smart way to end the economic crisis brought about by Xita Tom in the southeast region. Through the former president, Muhammad Buhari, though the former president, Muhammad Buhari, refused to release Mazen Namdi Kanu from detention after his abduction from Kenya. Even despite a court ruling in October 2022 ordering his release, there has been calls on President Bola Tinubu since his inauguration in May 2023 to release Mazen Namdi Kano. A year later, the president has not heeded the said calls. In March 2024, a federal high court judge denied Namdi Kano bail. I believe he has appealed. However, more bodies like Organizing Debo, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, ETC, have also called for his release. The latest, the, the latest and the, is the call for Chief Edwin Clark and other statesmen and those 50 lawmakers who wrote President Bola Tinobo to release Mazen Namde Kano. Kanu's release, in my opinion, will pave the way to economic prosperity and security in the Southeast. His continued detention has been the major cause of insecurity in the Southeast. The Monday seat at home has paralyzed the economy of the Southeast by making many businesses lose billions of Naira every week, he said. Other statesman, Edwin Clark, recently added his voice to the renewed call for the release of Mazin Amdekanu. Julius Adaguna, a media executive and public affairs analyst, said, if you can recall what Namdekanu did during the instance crisis, most especially against the personality and business of Senator Ahmed Tunubu, as a former Lagos state governor, President Tunubu will not jump at feeling the IPOP leader, as freeing the IPOP leader. Besides, it does not seem as Kano's IPOP followers are ready to allow peace to reign with what they are doing in the Southeast. They need to humble themselves before the Nigerian government to allow peace to reign. You cannot be pleading for an accused person standing trial and be, a, a, and be causing trouble at the same time. So whatever, so whoever wants to plead for Kano should be sure that peace reigns before and after their request, which will lead to his eventual release by the court. I wish them all the best. Barrister Blessing Joseph, a human rights lawyer, in a contribution told Sunday Independent that Nam the Kano's release on bail will be difficult. According to her, her view was based on the fact that Kano John Bill, two years after his arrest in 2015, noting that he was first rearrested in 2015 and still remained in detention. Barrister Agan uh, said the president, the International Human Rights Protection Service, Florida, USA, Nigerian chapter, stressed the Supreme Court of Nigeria upheld the federal government appeal 
the Supreme Court set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which ordered the release of Nam De Kano and then under the resumption of his trial before the Federal High Court, Abuja, on terrorism-related charges. Meanwhile, Honorable Chais, NEK, the National President of Eastern Union, EU, has said that the organization supports Nam De Kano's consideration for art of court settlement with the federal government. Speaking with Sunday Independent from his Abuja base, Honorable NEK, it stated that the EU, a political pressure group for the people of the old eastern region, support the arrangement, which he described as a shortcut solution to the crisis that has almost polarized the southeast. Any case stated, the speculations that Mazen and the Kano is considering out of court settlement with the federal government is a way forward and a sort of shortcut solution to solving the long overdue problem that has almost crippled the robust economy of the Southeast and some parts of South South. A record that many prominent citizens at several times had suggested to the former president Muhammad Buhari's government to seek a political solution to resolving the problem, but regretted that that administration enjoyed the pains and frustration of the Nigerians. Hence, it remained adamant to the core. According to NEK, this is a man legally adopted by the government, and ever since the government has kept amending their charges against him and yet to no avail. Individuals, including foreign government and civil society, have been calling on the government during and after Buhari to seek a political solution and then release the IPOB leader so that peace and normalcy can once again return in the southeast. But the various governments uh, remained adamant, probably enjoying the crisis and shed, sharing of innocent blood in the east, especially in the southeast. It is very obvious that the government has no genuine case against Kano, but has been detaining him out of hatred. This position was confirmed when others accused of the same crimes, as Kano have long regained their freedom and are moving freely. Therefore, it will be a good man, both for the government, Kano and the people of Southeast in particular. If the Tinubu-led federal government can, at this point, begin to retrace its step towards obeying court orders and justice. Political solution to resolving the lingering problems are believed by many as a way to go and the way forward. I believe, too, that the federal government right now has too many problems to focus on rather than continuing to entangle itself with baseless cases against Mazenam de Kano. The continued incarceration of Kano will no doubt continue to be a distraction to any serious government and also abuse of its fundamental human rights. When Kano started his desire for negotiation, stated his desire for negotiation at the, the last session in the court, the federal government lawyer, Awomolo San, responded that he had earlier informed the, the defendant that Kano lacked the powers to embark on such negotiation since it was not part of the, of the, the flat that was issued to him by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. Amowolo maintained that only the AGF had the authority to negotiate or take further steps in relation to the matter, noting that the case bordered on alleged terrorism. Okay, don't also forget that we have cases that bordered alleged terrorism, you know, uh, like the, the one with um, the immediate Allah body joke, he has been released. He, he, in fact, his case has been discontinued. What of Shoari, Sunday Boo, and all that? So, why is Nigeria government not releasing Mazen Amdekano?